For more on China's vaccine shortage, I spoke with Xi Chen. He's an assistant professor of public health at Yale University, and I asked him about the factors that led to the shortage. If we look at the overall picture, it is both of a demand issue and a supply issue, but the supply issue is even bigger. So first we say something about the demand. Uh, we know all know that last year there was a story of a, a, a middle-aged man uh, in Beijing uh, under the flu. And that went viral because everyone noticed that uh, flu uh, could uh, get uh, people into uh, the, the life-threatening situation or bankrupt. So the young man in Beijing uh, went uh, almost bankrupt and raised all the debts and finally after one month struggling with the disease and uh, the, uh, the flu and uh, died uh, as a result. So this is very striking to many, many Chinese residents. So this year, and uh, with the past year uh, surge in the, in the flu uh, season. So this year, uh, we would expect that people will be more likely and uh, more willing to receive the flu uh, vaccine. So this is a demand side. But I, would, I should say the more uh, uh, constraint come from the supply side because of the scandal uh, during the past summer about the substandard vaccination and the falsified data. So there's an, uh, no much trust against the, the system. So that's why the Chinese government started to reform the system by requiring uh, online inspection about vaccine quality. But this is enforced uh, uh, in, uh, in a very short term and there's a lack of capacity to review uh, at a high standard about those vaccines. So this year we see that a lot of uh, uh, vaccination manufacturer have no enough time to uh, to make their product available before the flu season. So that's the main issue. Well, touching on that vaccine scandal, um, you know, playing a part in all of this, most of that particular company's vaccines were ineffective. So really, how much of a part did that play in all of this? Yeah, this is a, play a b very big part because uh, uh, restoring people's uh, confidence in the system is becoming very hard. So that uh, requires uh, a very tightened regulation. So this is exactly the Chinese government uh, uh, are doing. So, uh, but the, the overall uh, 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 street uh, uh, regulation at the short term may uh, enlarge the, the short, uh, shortage of the, uh, the regulation system. So the capacity and the number of staff members reviewing such uh, uh, each uh, flu cases, uh, vaccine cases that can be in a short supply. And this could affect uh, uh, people in the way that, uh, as I said, is life threatening and also uh, in the short term, uh, China is still in a shortage of uh, flu vaccine. So with the very short supply, uh, only less than 2% of the Chinese residents get a uh, flu vaccine, which is very uh, uh, low level, because if we compare to the US uh, level, which is about 30%, and in some cases for the in danger or uh, high risk population is about 45%. So if we could not at a short period make a uh, uh, the vaccination of high standard and uh, high coverage for the population. So that may put the entire population at risk.